All right. Paper Dolls, Chapter 2, Split Personality. All right. Just well, give me a second. Molly! Molly, you're okay. Are you here to see my dad? I think he's sick. Sure, sure, let me in. Yeah, can you let me in? Okay, I guess you're not a stranger. He's locked himself in his bedroom. Uh, let me talk to him. I'll go and talk to him. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How ultra dramatic is this dude? I didn't realize I was standing there. I thought he was gonna walk. Oh god! Oh god, what the hell has happened to me? Uh. Jack? Is that you? You okay? No. No, I'm really not. I'm having a terrible nightmare. I'm horribly disfigured and fat and old! Oh! Fat and old? Alright! Tone it down a notch. My daughter's out here. Who the hell are you? Why do you sound like me? <laughs> Please open the door. Just open the door. Jesus H. Christ! You've stolen my body! Me? I haven't done anything. Do you think I've got a clue what's going on? Wait. I thought I recognised this face in the mirror. If this is your body, that must make you the bloke who brings the post! Seriously? Seriously? My name's John. We've met like ten times. Look, this is not important right now. <laughs> Help! Shut up! What the hell are you doing? Oh my god. Tell her something. Your dad's a little bit unwell. So I'm gonna take you to school. That's alright, isn't it? Sure. What's mm -hmm. wrong with my dad? Uh, upset stomach. Oh, he just has an upset stomach. Nothing serious. He probably just ate some... gone off meat or something. He was screaming because of an upset stomach. Maybe it was that jelly. Yeah? I guess he's a bit overdramatic. Is Dad going to have to go to a hospital again? No. No. He'll be back to normal in no time. Just have to reassure Just, her. He has to go to the doctor about his heart sometimes. Trust me. Trust me, Mole. He'll be fine. Oh, sorry, I'm pushing you off to the corner. Will you make sure Dad's okay when I'm at school? He can't have fried food. He isn't allowed. I will. Well, I'm just going to pop home after this to check on him. Or cheesecake. He'll ask you for it by saying no. <laughs> Got it. Okay, Molly. Hey, Molly. Hello, whoever you are. Hey, Hi. Shaz, this is Jack. Hello, Jack. Molly, where's your dad? He's not feeling well. Jack said he did number two all around his bedroom. Then he walked me to school. No, I didn't. Th thanks, Molly. Thanks for that colourful interpretation there. He he's, he's fine, he's just a bit ill. Who are you again? I told you, he's Jack. Molly, why don't you run along to school? Okay. Shaz is probably like, oh, who the okay, fuck? Okay, what's really happened to John? And why the hell are you taking his daughter to school? Okay, I can explain. 
You better. I'm calling the police. Oh, please don't. Cousin? Nephew? I'm, uh, John's nephew. That doesn't make sense. He's an only child. And strange. You know, John doesn't like opening up about that sort of stuff. Look, if you don't believe me, ask me something only someone close to John would know. I'm not playing games. Please. Please. Well, what's John's mum called? Oh my god. Jane. Jane Smith. Biggest phobia? Oh, Riding that's right. Cups. Makes him feel woozy. You're really John's nephew. It's a complicated story. Look, I'm, I'm glad I bumped into you, actually. He asked whether you could tell Clive he won't be in today. He's going to be in the shit for that. But sure, I can tell him. Thanks, Shaz. Uh, Sh Shaz, yeah. I appreciate it. John's so fragile. I often say he could use some help around the house. Thanks. Again, I really appreciate it. Oh, he better not have left the house. Right. You're not going to scream at me again, are you? Where the fuck is he? He's done a runner. Amy. Jack, where are you? Alright, let's... Uh, we've been friends forever... Oh, uh, I thought of that. I guess I told him about you. Why? What did you tell him? That you're a oh, good friend? You know, that you're a good friend. That I can open up to you and you'll listen. Yeah. You're a good listener. Well done. For listening. <laughs> oh, your favourite ice cream's rum and raisin. Your favourite sport is basketball. You secretly smoke, but you'll never tell anybody. Shut up! Did you seriously tell him all this shit about me? Uh, he read my diary. No. I, um, keep a diary. And he read it. You bastard. Oh well, I'll look after him. Why don't you go to, uh... Work? Yeah. Don't go! Yeah, Amy! Work. Amy, help me! I need your help! Right. Yeah, work. Well, see you later. Yeah. Bye. Amy! Jack! Stay away from me. You've done this. You've put a spell on me or something. You're evil. Come on. Hang on a minute. Oh, come on. We're both in exactly the same situation. Notice how much calmer I am. Now stop so we can talk about this. Just leave me alone. Come on, Jack. Oh, John. My body feels so weird. Jesus, don't you ever exercise? Uh, I was just in a, a hospital. Slow down. You'll give me another heart attack. Wow, well, he really I can't even look at you. This is so messed up. It's the same for me as it is for you, you know. Come on. I'll buy you a coffee. Have you got any idea There's how this might have happened? No. Oddly enough, this is my first time swapping bodies. Something Not like random. this doesn't just happen randomly. There's got to be some cause, some connection between the two of us. Okay, give me a moment to process this. Shit. What must they be thinking at work? Well, I'm you, right? I've got your phone here. Let me call in sick for you. Actually, not a bad idea. Okay, look for Sonia in my contacts. She's the receptionist at work. Tell her I got the squits or something. Words to that effect? Maybe I'll improvise. Okay. It's ringing. Superfab Games. Sonia speaking. Oh, hi. Hey, Sonia. It's Jack. 
I've got a wobbly tummy and can't make it in today. Ah, oh, Skyver. No worries, I've told Derek. Enjoy your lion. Thanks. I will. Done. Yeah. Sonia's safe. Hey, hang on a minute, your phone's buzzing. Answer it. Say you're me. Uh, hello? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Why didn't you put it on speaker, asshole? Are you going to tell hell? me who that was? It was your daughter's school. I said to let them know in future if you plan to keep Molly home for the day. Such an idiot. I shouldn't have taken her to school. She must have been so confused about everything. Well, you did drop her off in my body. I mean, she possibly thought that was a little bit weird. Shut up and help me look for her. Hey, relax. Look, she's probably just in the park, right? Playing on the swings, like, you know, like a kid. You need to chill out. Oh, oh wrong way. She just liked the swings. Park sounds good. Okay, let's try there first. It feels oh seriously God. weird being you. Ugh, everything jiggles about as I move. Oh my God. Not helping. Oh, is this helping? Yeah, I'm overweight. Get out your system so we can focus on finding my daughter. Mate, she's probably just drinking cider behind a tree somewhere. She's a bit young. Oh. Alcohol free cider? Oh, there she is. Molly! Honey! Dad! Why, would you, why would you leave school? Molly! Thank goodness you're alright. Oh, hi Jack. Nice to see you. This is going to take some explaining. So I didn't go to school. Am I in trouble? What? Yes. Nah. We're cool. No worries. Molly. You scared me. Promise me you'll never do that again. You scared me to death. Why are you both being so weird? Dad, I was worried you were poorly, so I wanted to go home. But then I got scared you'd be angry. Are you going to tell her or am I? There's something we need to talk to you about. Let's get you home. Right. Can't lie to her forever, you know? How come Jack's here? I think you should ask John that. I, I, I mean, Jack. We have something to tell you that affects all three of us. Is it about our post? Okay. Uh... Let me see. You know on Halloween, where everyone dresses up in different clothes and pretends to be someone else? Well, this is a little bit like that. What? What? Our brains <laughs> got swapped. Uh, what he's trying to say delicate. is that we seem to be in each other's bodies. I'm me. Your dad. And that makes me Jack, not dad. Makes sense? You've swapped brains? Yes. And you're my dad? Yeah. And this isn't a joke? No. No. Okay. Chicken dip. <laughs> Just cool with it. Solid dinner choice, John. They're the business. So, what happens now? I guess we figure out how to figure fix this. Sure. Got any ideas? Dad, you've nope. got a sauce down your front. That shirt's limited edition. It's all right. It'll come out in the wash. You both. You both look a bit of a state. You should dress each other up properly. She's got, She's a, got point. a point. None of my clothes are going to fit me anymore. Okay, we'll go get my stuff, but I want them back in the same condition I left them. She's a smart kid. Mm, she, she is. is. How do you put up with feeling out of breath all the time? You get used to it. You get used to it. I don't know how my clothes look so bad when you wear them. <laughs> We're going to have to perform a wardrobe transplant on you. I'm actually liking this story a lot. Because you don't really see don't many games that do this swap. <clears throat> You don't really see this swap in games 
where they're like a, in a Freaky Friday sort of situation. I kind of like it. Right, well, That's it's been a cute enemy girl. Should probably be getting to bed soon. Well, you can't stay here. <laughs> of course, I can. It's my place. Do I have to I spell it out? Over this. For all intents and purposes, you and me. The neighbours will ask questions if I'm walking Molly to school every day. So what do you say? You want me to move in? Yeah. I'm Pretty sorry. much. None of this is ideal. <laughs> the more I think this through, the more problems there are. What about work? I can't keep calling in sick. I'm guessing you have a job too. Yeah. So what do we do? On Monday, we're going to have to cover for each other. I'm going to have to pretend to be you, and you're going to have to pretend to be me. Yep, pretty much. We'll see how this works out. I'm not going to have a clue what's going on. Okay, we earned an achievement. Finished. Paper Dolls, Chapter 2. My goodness. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Um, I kind of want to do Stranger Danger last, so we're going to do Mina's, even though I hate her story. I don't like cheaters. <laughs> I really do not like cheaters. Are you right, babe? Yeah, just had a long day. My babe's saving the world again, is she? The most exciting desk job there is. So you've met Amy. Is that her name? She's getting fast-tracked. What? I've decided to include Amy in the selection process. Let's see who comes out on top. Alright. 